Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today's topic, we have serious communication problems, black people. And I think these problems that we have communicating lead to other problems. But I leave but I believe the communication problems are the root is a root cause of other problems. We don't know how to talk to each other and other people. And when we are talking to people, we don't understand the words that we're using. And I've said that on some other videos too. <clears throat> some kind of way we make up in our minds what words mean. And the word actually doesn't mean a lot of the times what we think it means. And then we get frustrated because the person that we're talking to doesn't know what the hell we're talking about. And I've used examples before in the past, trying to, on other videos, trying to illustrate this point. But I see it so much. We don't like to give, we don't like facts. We don't like knowledge. We don't like information. So we just make up in our brains information and what we think is knowledge. But the things that we're saying are not according to any knowledge. And we get so caught up in agreements whether somebody agrees or disagrees. Opinions that are based on nothing. In a court of law, when, a, when an attorney has an opinion or a judge has an opinion, they have to offer citations of what's called legal precedent, meaning they have to cite another case where, or multiple cases where this thing that they're saying or the argument they're trying to make has already been decided previously. When you do a book report, uh, any type of college paper or thesis, you have to offer citations for your opinion. And again, when we deal with each other, we throw all of the rules out the window. And we think majority rules. That's what we think. If you get enough people on your side cheering you on, you win. That's what we think. But that logic doesn't hold true everywhere. <clears throat> y'all, y'all people are sports fans. The, the, the loudest crowd doesn't win the game. It's about how many points is on the board. The facts, the points. Not because you loud talking somebody or over talking somebody or you just gonna talk constantly and not hear what the other person is saying to prove your point. Is your point actually proven? And we only do that thing with each other. <clears throat> Get
again, when you're in school, you can't do that. The teacher starts talking and she's guiding you through the lesson. You don't just start running your mouth and questioning everything and, and interrupting and interjecting the teacher. Because if you do that, they're going to put your black ass out of the class. And possibly out of the school if you do it enough. Because you have to be in order. And some of you like repeating your argument over and over again. Like I heard you the first 10 times you said it. I still don't agree with that bullshit. Now you're gonna allow me to respond? No, what we do is we wanna just keep talking and repeating ourselves. I heard you. I understand what you said. How do I, how do you know that? Because I repeated what you said back to you. And I've used the example before in a spelling bee. They state the word and they repeat the word. And if you're not sure, you ask them to repeat the word. That's how you ensure communication. To make sure the person is spelling the word understands what you're saying. If you're talking, you're not listening most in most cases. So if you're just constantly talking, or you're just waiting for your opportunity to talk, you're not listening. You got in your brain so bad what you want to get out, even though you've already said it. When the other person starts talking, you immediately start cutting them off. And you're not listening because the person is addressing what you said. And you're not listening. You automatically think they don't understand you or they don't agree with you. This is why when you watch the Senate or the Congress, anybody in Congress speak, when they have their hearings, they have a time limit. And then when they're done speaking, if it's early, they yield their time to somebody else. Because if two people are talking at the same exact time, no one is listening. And just constantly repeating the same shit over and over it was stupid the first time you said it. But we don't know how to communicate. We don't know how to even have an intelligent debate or dialogue. All we want to do is angrily argue. That's being contentious. That's what we want to do. And again, we think if we're the loudest, or we just say the smart shit, or the most mean shit, or the most vulgar shit, We won the argument. That's why a lot of y'all start your conversations off. First of all, you know how stupid you sound because there's never a second of all. You don't say first of all unless you're following it up with second of all. So stop saying that dumb shit. Or let me tell you something. Or let me let me tell you because y'all always want to straighten somebody out. As if you're some authority on the fucking subject that's even in question. And a lot of you do that when you admit you don't know what the subject is. Oh, I don't really know about that. But then why are you arguing? Shut the fuck up. Once you acknowledge that you don't know something, then that's that's the end of the argument. Maybe if you be quiet, you may learn something. Everything isn't always opinion. And people speaking to you are always speaking to you in their from their opinion. Sometimes some people are speaking to you from 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 facts, not feelings. Or they have an intelligent opinion that's backed by some 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 statistics, some documentation, some citation.
but we don't know how to communicate. But y'all know how to be in behavior. You get around these white folks. Y'all be y'all don't do that shit. You don't go on a job and do that. You don't go in nobody's classroom and do that. You're only big and bad when you get around your people. But then you you believe anything the white people say. You just believe it. Y'all are some house niggas. Well, Mr. Tom said it's true, so it must be true. I've had conversations with people where they come back and tell me the shit that I told them just a few hours before. Oh, look what I just found out. What do you mean what you found out? I told you that shit yesterday. I told you that precise shit yesterday. Now you don't went and got around somebody else and they, they don't repeat it. What I already told you had you not been talking when I told you that thing. You would you would have understood that yesterday. Basic communication, which also is why we don't we don't have any reading comprehension. Y'all read stuff and you put your own opinion and feelings and emotions into what somebody else is typing. And be way the fuck off. And be way off. I'm not going to dwell on this topic too much. I'll take questions and comments and I'll do a follow up if I get some of that. But please, people, when you come to me particularly, have some support for what the hell you're saying. If we're trying to have an intelligent conversation, I'm, I really I'm not interested in y'all groundless opinions. Or what's based on your particular life story. Your life don't affect 40 million people. Golly. Like and share. Follow V.